We recommend this product be installed by a competent gunsmith. Modification of your firearm may nullify the warranty of the firearms manufacturer. No liability is expressed or implied for damage or injury which may occur from improper use or installation of this product. You are responsible for the safe handling legalities and use of your firearm. Warning! Always wear safety glasses when working on firearms. Hi guys, Scott Folk here from Apex Tactical Specialties. Today I'm going to walk you through the installation of the Apex Ultimate Striker Plunger for the Glock pistols. For this installation you're going to need a 3 seconds inch pin punch or a Glock Armorer's tool. To replace the striker plunger we need to remove the back plate first. So first we need to go in here between the striker face itself and the stripper rail and find the little plastic sleeve that is the housing around the striker. I'll press down against spring tension, put my thumb all the way over the top and slide the back plate off. That little pop you heard was the extractor spring popping up. That's normal. Keep your thumb over the top so you don't lose that. I'll put my thumb back over the top and slide the back plate off. The next one you hear is the striker sleeve popping up against my hand. With those detentioned, I can remove the components as needed. To remove the striker plunger, I need to take the extractor out of the way. First I need to remove the extractor spring. So I'll pull the extractor spring and plunger back, giving me space to push the extractor out. I'll come in here and I'll press on the striker plunger. I'll press that guy down, and I'll go ahead and pull the extractor into the breech and let it fall out. We'll put that back in later. I'll go ahead and put my finger in here and hold the striker plunger down, and I'll pull the striker out oh, about an inch or so to get it out of the way. Now I can relieve tension on the striker plunger, and now I can remove it from the slide as needed to replace it. I want to show you the differences between the factory component and the Apex striker plunger. You'll see the factory component has kind of a bevel on the end, it's kind of a dull finish. The Apex striker plunger has a nice radius surface on the end and is also very well polished. This is intentional to give you a nice smooth uptake and trigger pull. To install the Apex striker plunger, we'll take the factory spring, we'll push it into the striker plunger. Sometimes it'll click in place, sometimes it won't. It's not really critical if it does or not. Take the slide, drop the plunger into the slide, make sure that spring gets where it needs to go. I'll press it all the way up and hold it in position. I'll take the extractor, I'll set it over the top, and I'll put it in position. Now I can let go of tension on the striker plunger and it'll hold itself in place. Now we can put the rest of the components back together. With the striker plunger in position and the extractor reset holding it in place, all we need to do now is push the striker all the way in against the striker plunger and make sure the extractor plunger is seated against the extractor. Now we can put the back plate back on. To reinstall the back plate, all I'll do is take the back plate, put it against the slide, and I'll hold it with my thumb just in position. I'll press on the striker sleeve under spring tension, press that guy down until I can get the back plate over it. That'll hold the striker in place. Now I have to compress the extractor spring while I push the back plate up. Once I'm there, I can pull my punch out and lock the back plate in place. Now that we have the striker plunger installed, we're going to go ahead and do a functions check. I'll pull back on the striker just a little bit, take tension off. Make sure the striker plunger moves up and down smoothly. I'll press it in, I'll let the striker forward, and I'll actually press it forward. And I want to see that the striker is going through the breech. This verifies that I'm actually able to fire it. I'll release it, pull it back, striker plunger should pop up. If I push forward, I get no movement of the striker going forward, which is proper operation. Installing the striker plunger is a very straightforward process. If you have any questions, contact Apex Customer Service. That's what we're here for.